Hello, and welcome to the Bankers Masterclass Series in association with SWIFT on a new era in global payments. I have with me Wim Raymakers, Global Head of Banking Market at SWIFT, uh, for the final chapter. In this chapter, we will explore what effects some emerging technologies, such as application programming interfaces and distributed ledgers, is having in cross-border payments, particularly in tandem with SWIFT GPI. Wim, thanks so much for coming back and joining me again. So the series has really looked at how SWIFT GPI is addressing the friction in cross-border payments, but obviously fr friction still exists. Where is that friction and how can it be addressed? Well, cross-border payments are highly sensitive. They contain personal information and often involve large sums of money. So rightfully so, they are under great scrutiny and there are regulatory and compliance controls. At the same time, it's important that those payments can go fast and that they don't get stuck because of operational issues or missing information. So SWIFT actually has an existing set of services and new initiatives to reduce friction and to increase the automation and the speed of these payments. SWIFT has worked for years, many years, with the industry on standards. And now with the migration to ISO 20022, that will provide even more structure and possibilities for automation. We also have a series of SWIFT REF directories and sanction screening services, for instance. So all that is fine, and actually most payments do go through straight through. But those few that don't, they are frustrating when there are errors or missing informations and they are time-consuming and costly to repair. So within SWIFT GPI, we are developing an integrated toolkit of additional services to help reduce the friction in cross-border payments. For instance, we are developing a pre-validation service that banks can use to contact banks down the chain to get information upfront before sending the payment so that it goes straight through. For payments that are in flight and where there is some missing information, we are developing a fast case resolution service so that the initiating bank can be contacted directly for the missing information. And in case a payment needs to be stopped, we are developing a more efficient stop and recall service in case there is a duplicate payment or a mistake was made or in case of suspected fraud. So all of these services together provide a powerful integrated toolkit that will further reduce the friction and increase the speed of these payments. Okay, and do you have any evolutions in the pipeline that will actually enhance the experience uh, for corporate treasurers? Well, absolutely. SWIFT GPI was invented, it started by the premise of improving the experience for the corporate treasurer. We're answering their call for having visibility on the payment flow. And very importantly, we are providing a confirmation of credit that the money is on the account of the beneficiary. Together with banks and corporates, we have developed a multi-bank standard that banks can use to provide that tracking information to their clients, either through the portal of the bank or in a structured format directly to the corporate treasurer so they can integrate it in their ERP or treasury management system. We're also developing a proof of payment initiation and visibility of incoming payments. That will be rolled out later this year. And we don't stop there. We also provide a request to pay, which is in the pipeline, so that we have a complete set, an integrated toolkit end-to-end -to -end from payables to receivables. Excellent. My last question is really about emerging technologies. Uh, such as APIs and distributed ledger technology. How is that making an impact on cross-border payments? Well, APIs are a great technology that allow corporates to unlock value. And with GPI, we built in APIs deliberately from the outset so that banks can indeed integrate that tracking information into their portals and their clients can benefit directly from this visibility thanks to APIs. We're also using APIs to further integrate the GPI experience into DLT, distributed ledger-based ecosystems or other ecosystems that want to benefit from the global settlement capability that GPI banks provide. In that context, we recently partnered with R3, 
the blockchain infrastructure software provider so that their Corda settler can support Swift GPI for this purpose. But actually, it's not so much about technology. Technology is more a means to an end. With Swift GPI, it's more about providing the ability to provide an enhanced experience, to reduce the friction of these payments, to increase their speed. That is actually what Swift GPI delivers. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Wim. Thank you. This concludes the Bankers Masterclass series in association with Swift on a new era in global payments. Thanks for watching.